Hello, this is Jillian, and this is a field-specific tutorial for using FieldWire on your Android phone or tablet. Here at FieldWire, we are focused on increasing job site productivity and making sure your workday runs smoother. And our construction app allows you to do just that straight from your tablet or smartphone. In this video, we'll show you how to quickly navigate and mark up your plans, track issues, snap progress photos, and receive instant mobile notifications without ever leaving the job site. When you log into the app, you'll see your projects listed alphabetically and can check your notifications in the top right. You can see all updates to your tasks or plans, so you never miss a thing. Let's go into DNK Inc. You can see your project drawings whenever you're on the Plans tab at the top. Let's run through the options on the Plans tab. First, we can change from Plan Thumbnail to a list view of the plans. Next, you can expand and contract the folders. I can quickly jump to my Structural folder. Then there's the clock icon, which will give me a drop down of all of my recently viewed plans. I can also click on the magnifying glass icon to search through my plans for both number and description. My project has multiple plan sets, so I've added plan tags for the different buildings on my project. All I have to do is search building one, and only those drawings will appear. You can easily flip through your sheets by using your finger to swipe left or right on the plans, and they load very quickly. You can also swipe up and down between old versions of plans. There will always be a red watermark on previous versions, so no one will ever be working off the wrong set of plans. You'll notice that there is a date on the bottom left. This refers to the version of the drawing that you're looking at. If you want to see a detail, just click on the callout. In this case, it brought me to an elevation view. When I want to go back to the previous drawing, I'll click the back arrow at the top of the screen. Let's run through how to add hyperlinks, markups, and tasks to your plans. Click on the icon at the bottom right of the screen to access the markup menu, which you'll see if you're an admin or member on the project. The first icon is for creating tasks, but I'm going to skip that one for now and come back to it. This is the hyperlink menu. First, you can create your own links between plans. Next, you can add progress photos directly to your drawings. I've already added a couple photos. Whenever I'm walking in this area, I have the options to upload a new photo, a 360 photo, or even a video to keep track of progress. You can also add file attachments like RFI responses. If you have a business account, you can either start a new form, for example if you want to request an inspection of Building 1, or attach an existing one by clicking on the Forms icon. Next, there are the markup tools. You can use the pen or highlighter, which are useful to call out areas with non-standard shapes like the corner of this building. There's a variety of other options like the arrow, cloud, and text box. Here we have our measurement tool, which is perfect for taking quick measurements while out in the field. People use different colors to track different trades or to keep track of progress. Then you can move your markups. This tool highlights all of the markups on a page and you can move them where you want. I can also delete any markups by clicking on the trash icon. Remember that only admins can delete other people's markups. If I ever want to edit, duplicate, or check who created the markup and when, I can press and hold down on the markup. If I click on details, I have the options to change the color and can see that Bob, my super, created it the other day. Note that if you are a member or a follower, you can only edit your own markups, not the markups of others. There is always a history of your red lines and you are able to produce quality as builds at the end of your project. Now that we've added information to our plans, I can click on the eye icon on the top of the screen and turn off certain layers. There is also the share button in the upper right, which will allow you to send an email with the drawing or part of a drawing to anyone, even if they're not on FieldWire. Let's move on to creating tasks. Create a task by clicking on the top pin icon and tapping on the drawing. I'm going to go to the settings to add a title to the task. Fix North Wall Damage. I can choose between priority 1, 2, and 3. The green check mark indicates that a task has been completed and the blue check mark classifies that the task has been verified. Remember that only admins can verify that a task has been completed, so you know that tasks are being completed correctly and you're able to avoid rework or delays. I can edit the title, assignee, and add a category. Let's put drywall. I can also add a specific location. 
Adding a location is helpful for when you either have multiple buildings, rooms, or zones on your project, and you want to be able to track where the task occurs and generate a report later. I'll add a due date since this needs to be done before our walk with the architect next Monday. I can also track cost and manpower. Back on the bottom of the main task view, I have several options to add information. I can add comments or change the priority, category, or assignee by using the at sign. I'm going to assign this to my foreman, James. I'll add a rework hashtag so I can easily keep track of all rework items among all categories. You can also create a checklist of subtasks, like replace drywall, tape and finish, and repaint. You can add a photo of the area by clicking on the camera icon. I'm going to mark up the photo for extra clarity. I'll add a circle and a comment. I'm also going to add a crop plan to indicate the extent of the wall damage by clicking on the attachment icon and use my measurement tool to quickly mark the length of the wall. I can also add a related task, PDF file, form, pre-made checklist, or a scribble. I can email out the specific task here with all of its content. I know that James has FieldWire on his phone, so he's already been notified that I assigned him this task. If I wanted to delete the task, I could click on the trash icon. Remember that any task with content can only be deleted by admins. The next tab on your project is Tasks. All of your tasks are listed here. You can filter the list to see only the task assigned to you or certain categories. Let's look at the task assigned to me. I was assigned this task to check on the plumbing rough-in, which I did this morning. Let me add a photo and mark it up with the dimensions. Then I'll mark it as complete and assign it to my QC manager, John, so he can go and verify that the work has been completed per plan. You can also sort tasks. I have mine sorted so all of my priority one tasks are at the top, so I know what's most important and avoid any delays in the schedule. Lastly, you can send out reports. Refer to our video on generating reports for more info. On the next tab, you can view all of your photos related to your project. Then there is the Forms tab. Here you can create a daily report, inspection request, RFI, or timesheet. All of your paper forms are now consolidated into the platform and easily accessible by your team. Check out our forms video to learn more. On the next tab, you can view any files uploaded to your project, such as reports, RFIs, submittals, and specifications. Then there is the People tab. You can add team members by clicking on the plus at the bottom right. You can also manage the permission levels of the current users on your project. Remember that there are three types of users, admins, members, and followers. Check out the Managing People video if you want more information. Lastly, under the Settings tab, I can view project information and settings, as well as uncheck the Synchronize Project option. This helps free up space on your device and is good for projects you are no longer working on. You can always synchronize a project from your main dashboard. That was an overview of using FieldWire in the field. Thanks for watching!